Narcissistic individuals can be so incredibly convincing in the lies and the gaslighting that they sell to you. And this is usually because narcissistic individuals use various cognitive and emotional strategies to validate and justify their own toxic and hurtful behaviour to themselves. And because they are convincing themselves that they are in the right, they are more believable when they're trying to convince others. Narcissistic individuals will often go all out to rationalise their behaviour. So they will create logical yet false explanations for why their behaviour was okay or acceptable. They might justify their manipulation by claiming that they're simply teaching somebody a lesson or that the other person deserved the mistreatment in some way so that the narcissist can avoid all forms of accountability. It wasn't their fault. They were doing it for the benefit of others. Narcissists will also go all out to blame others. Narcissistic individuals will often go all out to shift the blame onto others, convincing themselves and those around them that their actions are a reaction to somebody else's behaviour. They believe that if somebody else hadn't have made them do it, hadn't have provoked them, that they wouldn't have acted in that harmful way. A narcissist lies to you, you call the narcissist out, they get physically aggressive towards you and they blame you for daring to question their sense of entitlement. They don't reflect on their behaviour. They blame somebody else. Whereby with reactive abuse, a narcissist will chip away at you and keep chipping away at you. And you've not done anything to hurt them as such. You might have potentially said no to them, which questioned their sense of entitlement and triggered that narcissistic injury. So then they play a game of let's wind you up. Let's get that reaction from you. You react out at them. They play the victim of what a terrible person you are and how you need to make it up to them. You take responsibility for your reaction. You feel bad. You don't like the person you've turned into. You apologise. That thing that you said no to, you suddenly find yourself saying yes to make up to them for your negative toxic reaction towards them. You take responsibility and doubt yourself. They pass responsibility and believe that they're in the right. Narcissists will use minim minimalization. They will downplay the severity of their actions by convincing themselves that their behaviour isn't really that bad to avoid facing the reality of the harm that they cause. So they convince themselves that their behaviour isn't that bad and they convince their victims. They turn around to their victims and gaslight them and claim it wasn't that bad. You're overreacting. Don't you think you're making a big deal out of this? The victim who takes responsibility for who they are doubts themselves and thinks, well, if I haven't have done that, then they wouldn't have done this. No, the narcissist is toxic and abusive and they use those various cognitive strategies to justify their behaviour, get away with their behaviour, downplay their behaviour and get their victims and their enablers to believe that the narcissist is in the right and the victim is in the wrong. They can use that victim mentality. A narcissist will often portray themselves as the true victim in the situation. They use Jennifer Freyd's Darvo where they deny, attack and reverse the roles of victim and offender. Like the minimalisation when they push and poke and get a reaction from you so that they can play the victim in the situation. Narcissists often believe that other people are out to get them because they're oh so amazing and everyone would just want to be like them. Everyone just wants to be with them. They believe other people are envious of them. So they believe that their toxic behaviour is a self-defence mechanism and it's not their fault, you're the one that's out to get them. Even though they lied, they cheated, they deceived, they exploited, they manipulated, they still believe that it was the other person that was the problem. They are the victim in the reality that they created. They don't take responsibility, they pass the blame. They have that sense of entitlement, they believe they are inherently deserving of special treatment without earning it. They are inherently deserving of the privileges without earning them. They justify their actions within their own mind. Their sense of entitlement makes them feel it's 
it's okay that normal rules don't apply to them, but those same rules apply to everybody else. They use dehumanisation. Narcissists view others as inferior or worth less than the narcissist is as a person. Not worth kindness, not worth respect, not worth dignity. They dehumanise others, which allows them to treat other people poorly without feeling that guilt or remorse. They only feel a moment of shame if they're caught in their actions and someone perceives them in a negative way, which is why they will rationalise, shift the blame, minimise, play the victim and dehumanise, claim that the other person deserves it, that the other person isn't worthy. They use projection. Narcissists will go all out to project their own negative traits and behaviours onto somebody else to shift the blame by accusing others of doing the very things that they are doing themselves, the very things that they are guilty of within their own behaviour. The narcissist can deflect the attention away from their own misconduct and maintain a positive self-image. They'll be trying to impress strangers and every time you try to make an effort to go out anywhere, you might not even make an effort, you might just be going out. And they turn around, oh, who are you trying to impress? Because that's their intent. They believe that your intent is coming from a place of their intent. And you often believe that their intent is coming from a place of your intent. And it isn't. They don't f think or feel in the same way that you do. They lack the empathy to. They believe that they're entitled to have everything their own way. And if somebody stands in their way, they believe that that somebody is out to get them. So they go all out to destroy that person first so that the narcissist can get their needs met. These self-validating mechanisms help a narcissist maintain their sense of superiority and avoid confronting the reality of their behaviour. You cannot make someone see what they don't want to hear and you cannot make someone hear what they don't want to see. When it comes to dealing with a narcissistic individual, it's about recognising the patterns of behaviour in a person recognising that they're going to be a very challenging person to be around and to deal with and safely learning to maintain your distance from them. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel is greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, this channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life and how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you're looking for more information on understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries because a narcissist will walk all over your boundaries. A Narcissist Handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse. There is also 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people, how to stay sane and break the chain. This is for if you cannot go no contact with narcissistic individuals. Healing from narcissistic abuse, a journal, a guided journal for recovery and empowerment. This is more a workbook. It does briefly go over narcissism, but it's more a workbook on creating a brighter future for yourself. And a bit more of a light-hearted book, which people were asking for in the comments of the quotes and memes sh shared over social media over the last few years. And this one is hilarious and horrifying narcissistic memes and their meanings. All the books are currently out now on Amazon. And the current offer is if anyone is happy to purchase any of the books and leave a genuine five star review, then message me and the online break free from narcissistic and emotional abuse course is available for free. Thank you very much for watching. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.